everybody, welcome to Studio Y. I'm Danielle. This is the lovely Susie. We are here today to bring you two circuits. We have to start 20 minute full body circuit. We got a little weight, we got a little cardio. If you have dumbbells at home, grab some dumbbells. If you have a kettlebell, even better. You don't need it. If you have one and you're familiar with using it, go ahead and grab that as well. For our second circuit, glutes, core, you can grab a mini band or nothing at all. Totally up to you. We're gonna get rolling. We got 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Grab your dumbbells. First move, we're gonna have a curl and press to a reverse lunge. Did I mention to grab some music? There's our bell. We're gonna curl, press, keep those dumbbells up nice and high. Alternate that reverse lunge and down. Nice tight core here. Take that knee to the floor if you can, pressing through that heel. 40 seconds on with each one of these moves. We're gonna alternate strength and cardio. Blast whatever your favorite music is. We got the timer here for you. When you hear those beeps, you know we're done. We can take a little break. We got about five seconds here. Give me one more rep through, come through the bell. Nice tight core, finish it off. Drop those dumbbells. Kettlebell if you have one. If you have dumbbells, we're gonna do a dumbbell swing. So with one or two, you're gonna come. Wide stance, heels wider than hips, toes forward. Hinging at those hips. There's our bell for 40 seconds. Big time hinge movement here. I'm gonna turn so you can see more. If you're familiar with it, keep rolling. All your power here coming from your lower body. Your arms holding those dumbbells, holding those kettlebells, but look, slight bend in the knee, and I'm driving my hips so far forward, so hard, squeezing those glutes. The momentum is what is pulling those dumbbells up. So you're not doing a front raise. Dumbbells, kettlebells swinging, from the power behind those hips. Nice job. All right, now we have one dumbbell. Single dumbbell move here. We're gonna sumo squat. Take those heels wider than hips. We're gonna hold that dumbbell chest height. Nice, firm between your hands like you're trying to squeeze it. Here we go. Sumo squat with a chest press up. Pushing on the ends of that dumbbell. Squeezing it out, squeezing it in. So heels wider than hips here, toes are out, knees over those ankles, squeezing everything. Can you see my arm shaking from where you're, you are in your living room? Oh my Lord. Like you're trying to break that dumbbell. We got 10 seconds here. Squeeze the glutes as you come up. Make it three, two, one, done. Woo. Nice job. All right, back to cardio. Quick shake on those arms. Squat jack. So you're gonna reach down. Again, hinge, not bending over. Hips stay lower than shoulders. Come up. We got two, one, 40 seconds. You do not have to touch the ground here. You don't even have to jump. You can walk it out as long as your hips are staying lower than those shoulders. Not reaching for the ground, powering through those legs. Halfway there. Woo! Nice job. So I don't know if I said it already. We got four rounds. Five moves, four rounds through. 20 minutes on this first circuit. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo, nice job. Forearm plank. We're gonna end each round with a forearm plank variation. You may have, I have bad wrists. If you're in the same boat as me, high plank's not always an option. Elbows, under shoulders, two, one, here we go. Arms are straight out from those elbows. Working for it, not praying for it. Looking right in between those hands. If you need to dial it down a little bit, 
you can drop one of those knees to the ground. Still working through those core, keeping those hips nice and low. If you can, both knees up, keep those hips nice and low. Shake, 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 that's what we want, we want the shaking shakes. We got five seconds here. Susie's flat as a board over there, I love it. One, nice jump. Round one is done. We're going right back to the top with our reverse lunge. Curl, press. This is round two. Oh, who's that uh, Strength training can't be cardiovascular. Never me. Strength training is my cardio. Two, one. Curl, press. Alternate that reverse lunge. Come down. Core is tight here. I love a circuit because sometimes I just need to not think. You give me a couple of things to do, you tell me how long to do it, and repeat. That's what I like. Nice job. Studio Y, you're killing it right now. We got less than 10 seconds. How are those shoulders? Especially after a forearm plank, give me one more. <laughs> Through the bell. Nice job. Quick drop, quick shake. We're back on those dumbbell swings. Kettlebell if you have it. So remember, this is a tricky one, especially if you've never done these before. You need your arms to hold the dumbbells, obviously. <laughs> I've made that mistake before. I told you you don't need your arms. You do. You're hinging, powering forward with those hips. Not as much power. Dumbbells really aren't going to go anywhere. Squeeze it like you mean it. Like you got something in front of you and you're trying to bump it over with just your hips. Drive through those heels. Big squeeze on those glutes at the top. Dumbbells or your kettlebell shouldn't really be coming up that high here. If you're up here, you're letting your arms take over. If you've got a little bit of weight on here, that's, that's your cardio right there. Feet don't even have to leave the floor. That's what I like. <laughs> Grab one single dumbbell, right back to our sumo squat with a chest press up. Again, heels wider than hips, toes turned out. We got four seconds till our bell. Whew, round two. Here we go. Come down and back up. Pressing that dumbbell out straight from your chest. You're not just holding that dumbbell. You are squeezing it like you are trying to break it in half. Taking that chest height and right back. Driving through those heels, squeezing at the top. We're more than halfway. 15 seconds studio wide. Sit back into those heels. Big squeeze, here we go. Almost there, four, three, two, one. Nice job, drop the dumbbells. Back to our squat jacks. Hello, shoulders, hello, chest. Good Lord, okay. Hopefully we got a fan or an AC going. Shake it out, we're right back to our squat jacks. In three, two, one, 40 seconds. Remember, this is your option right here. If you don't want to jump, step it up, right? You don't even have to come that low, touch the floor, make it work for you. Hips staying lower than shoulders, getting that heart rate up. Nice job, studio Y. We got 10 seconds. Stay with me. Keep that chest up. Two, one, a forearm plank. This is it for round two. This time, you can keep your original straight version, or we're gonna take a side forearm plank. Elbow, under shoulder, and we're gonna take it up. Where is it, three? Two, one, 40 seconds right here. So you can stay where you were from round one or flip it over onto that side. Elbow under shoulder. You can keep that arm up. 
you're looking for a way to make the 40 seconds fly by. Go ahead and add a reach. You can add a dip. You can keep it right where you are. Make it yours. Keep breathing here. We got less than 10. Susie's perfection back there. Don't you love her? Five seconds. You're making me blush. Nice job, studio I One. Two rounds done, that means we're halfway there. Take it up. Always grab a drink when you need it. Right back to our curl press, alternating reverse lunge. We're two rounds through. Start whatever side you want. If you've been starting on the same side, why don't you go ahead and switch. Here we go. 40 seconds. Nice job. Pushing through that front heel. Taking it at your pace. You don't have to stay with us. You want to come as deep as you can on those lunges, staying up overhead. Nice job. We got about 10 seconds left here. Holy Round shoulders. three. Holy shoulders. Holy shoulders. Oh, yeah. Right after the reverse plank, too. Reverse plank? No. Or a plank. Like, what's that? Just make something up. Dumbbell swing. Nice wide stance, heels wider than hips, toes forward. Remember, working on that hinge, driving through, thrusting those hips forward. There it is, 40 seconds. If you're not comfortable with these, start light. Drop one dumbbell, build up. Chances are if you're watching this, you're at home, maybe you're alone. Who cares what you look like right now? Drive those hips forward, squeeze those glutes. There is your cardio. And working on that hinge movement. Slight bend in the knees, but it's really coming from those hips. Two, one, nice job. Drink if you need one. Stick with a single dumbbell here. Back to our sumo squat with a chest press up. Nice wide stance. Heels wider than hips, toes turned out. We want knees tracking over those ankles. Three, two, one. There it is. Big squeeze at the top. Chest height on that dumbbell. Not just holding it either, squeezing it. Pushing on those ends. Trying to break it. Arms should be shaking. Should be hard to talk. Yes. You know, not for me or anything, just for someone else. Ooh, we got 10 seconds. Squeezing to the top. Make it five. Almost there. Two, one. Ooh, drop that dumbbell. Nice job, Studio Y. Cruising through round three. I mean, time flies when we're doing stuff like this. Oh, yeah. It really does. It's like 40 seconds? Is that only 40? Ready to go. Squat check. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hopefully your music is louder than my panting. If it's not, turn it up. <laughs> Remember, push those hips back. Drop them low. You want those below your shoulders. Legs should be like, wait, we just did all those sumo squats. I know, I did this on purpose. You're welcome. We got 10 seconds, Studio Y. Stay with us. Woo! Breathe it out, five, four, three, two, one. Forearm plank, switching sides. Um, yeah. I don't want you, uh, my good side. I'm trying to make sure I'm still facing you. Take a breather, right? We got five, four, three. Elbow under that shoulder. If you need to, you can drop that bottom knee. Still working through that oblique. I promise. Otherwise, keep those hips up, knees up, 
options here to add that reach. Nice, low, controlled. You can add that dip, dropping that hip toward the floor, squeezing back up. Squeezing through that core. We got about five seconds left wide. Stay with us. This is it for three. To the bell, nice job. Last round of your first circuit. Woo. Shake it all out. Grab those dumbbells. Lordy, lordy. That was my favorite. We get it in. We get it in, hit it hard. 20 minutes on this first circuit. Here we go. Curl, press, two-way reverse lunge. Nice job. If you are home with littles, we get that. I saw a workout online, they were like nine minutes. I'm like, perfect. Sometimes I don't even have that. I get towards the floor, my two-year-old sees a jungle gym, making working out at home a challenge. 20 minutes, maybe you sneak it in during a snack, during a meal, during a movie, an episode of Lion Guard, whatever. Just, you know, random example. There it is, 40 seconds done. Shake out those arms. We're ready for kettlebell swings, dumbbell swings, whatever you're swinging. Shake out those arms. Last time here. We have one more circuit after this. Two 20 minute circuits. Could you play this for one? Absolutely. You do what you have time for. You make it work for you. Nice job. Hinging at those hips. Big squeeze to the top. Breathing. Remember, very little movement effort coming from that upper body. Little thrust, not a lot of movement from my arms. My arms are totally coming out that far only because of the power from my hips. We got two, one, nice job. Two moves down, three to go. Drop one of those dumbbells. We got our sumo squat with our chest press up. This is definitely total body, nothing. This thing's not touching. Nice wide stance. We got three, two, one. Take it down and up. Knees over those ankles. Dumbbell stays, chest height. And remember, we're not just holding it, squeezing the ends. I mean, you got the shakes. Nice job. Halfway there. Woo. Keep it there, Studio Y. <laughs> Less than 10. You got five. Four. Three, two, one. Oh, Lordy, drop it. No dumbbells here. Squat jacks. Shake out those arms. Shake out those legs. 20 seconds sounds like a lot. After your first, you're like, I need 20 seconds. Round four, I'll take those 20. Two, one, here we go. Last time with these. Hips. Staying lower than shoulders. Not reaching for the floor. If you don't get the floor, don't get the floor. Right? You're good here. If you don't want to jump, step it up. Take a little squat down. If you got it, go for it. 15 seconds wide. Feeling every one of those sumos right here. Nice job. We got four. Three, two, one. Woo. Nice. Last time for <laughs> kick it up. <laughs> See you later, squat track. All right. Options here. You're still down on your forearm plank. You can take a forearm plank jack. Or step it out. 40 seconds. Whatever option you're picking. Hips are low, core is tight. If you're up here for jacks, 
I want you to take it down. You're better off right here. Even if you're up here for step outs, keep the feet still. Wherever you can keep good form, that's where I want you. Look at Susie, hips are low, core is tight. We got 10 seconds here, why? Nice job. Make it five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Circuit one. Done. Check it off the list. Grab a drink, for sure. We got all the bells coming. We'll take a little break on the bells. <laughs> you know, annoy that. Okay, I'm down. I'm gonna stay down. Glutes, you knew it was coming. Glutes and core. Circuit number two. You don't need any equipment here. If you have a dumbbell, you have a kettlebell, you wanna add a little weight, awesome. If you have a mini band, you wanna add some more tension, perfect. If you don't have any of those things, you don't need any of those things. All right, I got my bands. I'm grabbing a dumbbell. We're gonna take it down, same scheme, right? So we got 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, total glute and core focus here. So, this is half the workout. I did this with keeping the band on the entire time in mind, because I know my classes, getting the band on and off, they're like, come on. So, you're welcome, you get to keep this sucker on the whole time. First move, B stance, glute bridge. So, you're gonna plant through, we'll start on the right. Left heel is gonna come up by those toes, you want your knees out, putting tension on that band. Driving up, pushing through that one heel. If you don't have a mini band, you can take a single leg option, right? Keeping one leg high in the sky. Then we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna keep adding on from there. Let's go ahead and get rolling. Push that through that right heel. Left heel by your toes. 40 seconds. If you have that mini band on, Knees are out. Big squeeze. It is a small range of motion here on a glute bridge. So many times I see people with a huge arch and they're way up here and their back way up high on their shoulders. No, no. Keep it low. Take the tension out of your lower back. Keep it right in the glute. Drive through that heel. Squeeze to the top. Exhale up. Inhale down. Nice job, Studio Y. Hello, blue friend. Quick driving in. Next 40 seconds, opposite leg. So you're gonna keep that left foot on the floor, right heel by your left toes. Working that opposite side here. Hammering those glutes, we get about five seconds. Breathe it in, remember, drive through that heel. If you have your mini band on, Keep knees out, tension on that band. Nice job. See how Susie is only coming up about a few inches from the floor? That's perfect. So many times I've seen people, it's like they think they're working harder the higher they get up off the floor. No. Then we're just engaging muscles we don't really want to engage. Squeeze those glutes to the top. Little tap on the floor. Just to let you know you got back down. Not a full seat. Push through till you hear the bell. Nice job. Hug those knees real quick if you need to. Both feet are on the floor here. Options. Hips can stay down or come up into a glute bridge. We're going to abduct those knees. Round one, you're going to feel something. Round four, we'll talk. Two, one, here we go. So hips can stay on the floor. They can come up into that glute bridge. Your choice. But you're pulsing those knees up. And it's not rapid fire. Stick it. Nice job. Hitting those upper, outer glute regions. The shelf, as they call it. Nice job. You know how I feel about glutes, why? So, glutes, biggest muscle in our body. So many aches and pains that we feel can be alleviated through strengthening these glutes. All right, if you have a dumbbell you wanna add, go for it. 
Feet are on the floor, knees are bent. Jackknife, crunch. You can add that dumbbell. Adding the dumbbell is going to help get you up to the top. 40 on the bell. Feet are on the floor, knees are bent. Keep that chin to your chest. Nice job. Give the glutes a little break. Get that core working again. I promise we're not planking. Nice job. If you feel like you're struggling too much to pull up, you can turn this into a crunch and stay down. Chin to your chest, bring your shoulders up off the mat. If you can, come all the way up. Chest to your legs. Nice job. Again, feet stay on the floor. We don't have to touch that band. Woo. Brush and twist. Heels can stay on the ground here. We're gonna take that dumbbell side to side. Option, take those heels off the ground. We got four, three, two, 40 seconds. Slow and controlled here. Nice job. Just try and think about scooping out your core, right? Bring that belly button to your spine. I'm sure you heard our instructor say that. Slow, controlled. Come all the way around with that dumbbell. 15 seconds here. This is it for round one. We got four, just like we did with our first circuit. We got five seconds here. Why? Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Dumbbells to the side, quick break. We're back on those B stands, glute bridges. Option, you can add that dumbbell over your working hip if you want to. Knees tensioner is on that band, keeping those knees out, driving through that right heel. Left heel up by your right toes. Focusing on one glute at a time. Nice job. Awesome. Option here, make it a little trickier. Add a quarter pulse at the top. That's where your glutes are working the hardest here, is at the top of this movement. You can add a little pulse. Remember, knees out, especially if you got that band on. Nice job. You can get these anywhere, these mini bands. Nice job, quick shake. Same thing on the opposite side. Now we're planting through the left glute, the left heel, excuse me. Right heel, up by the left toes. Again, knees out. Option to add that quarter pulse at the top. We got five, four, three, two, here we go. Left side. Nice job. We got our sweat on in the first circuit. Now we're really working on building those muscles. Again, you can add a dumbbell, kettlebell, any type of weight to your working hip here. Make it a little bit more challenging. We got four rounds though, I told you. Round one, you don't need the 20 seconds. Round four, it's the fastest 20 seconds of your life. Keep squeezing. Nice job. Woo. Bring those knees in if you need to. We're back to our abduction. Both heels are on the floor. Tension on that band the whole time. Challenge yourself. Come all the way up into a bridge. Sticking those knees out. Two, one, 40. Nice job. Woo! Feeling that burn, round two. Stick those knees. Putting tension on those upper, outer glutes with that band. Nice job, Y. Remember, so many of those aches and pains we all have. Oh, I have this little thing in my lower back. My knee does this. Weak glutes are so often the culprit. So important to spend time strengthening our glutes. The key to it all. Oh, Lordy. Come on down. That's round two. I told you. Round four, we're going to have to talk. 
Grab that dumbbell. We're going to plant those feet on the floor. Extend those arms into a jackknife crunch. We got five seconds till our bell. Breathe it out. Here we go, 40 seconds. And up. Chin stays to the chest. Exhale as you come up. It's okay if your knees want to stay glued together here. Especially <laughs> if you have a super tight band. Mine's pretty thick and my knees are like, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna hang out right here in the we're middle. Just gonna we're just gonna snug. Woo! <laughs> Give the glutes a rest. Ten seconds. Do you like how I said abs? And then we're doing like shoulder work too. Well, sneaky, nasty. Oh yeah, little extra shoulders. We didn't get enough in our first second. <laughs> Quick shake, brush and twist. This is it for our second round. Again, heels can stay down or come up, whatever works for you. We got eight seconds, I'm gonna take eight seconds. Oh, yes, three, two, one. I was telling someone, I said, I wanna see the weight the instructor's using online. I wanna see her sweat. I wanna know this is hard for her. I am not gonna lie to you, this is challenging. It's hard. We gotta work through it together. Oh yeah, studio wide community. Pull that navel in to your spine, 15 seconds here. Side to side, slow and controlled. We were explosive and quick in our first circuit, slowing it down, getting that mind muscle connection in our second circuit. One and done. Drop the dumbbell. Here we go. Back to those glutes. I'm telling you. You felt the burn on two, three and four, you're gonna be feeling it again. Stick with that right, left heel up by your toes, knees are out, tension on that band. Here we go, through the right heel, keep that pulse. That's where your glutes are working the hardest here. And again, small range of motion. Susie and I aren't way up high, aiming for the sky, no. I'd say like mid back, still on the ground, right? Coming yeah. up a few inches. Sure. Dropping those glutes just for a little light tap on the floor, just to let them know you got there. And then right back up for that pulse. Nice job, Y. Woo. Bring those knees in. Quick stretch. Lordy, lordy, switching sides. Left heel is on the floor. Right heel is out by those toes. Tension on that band, driving those knees out. Really engage those glutes. We got 40 on the bell wire, round three. Here we go. Adding that pulse to the top. Just because we're down on the floor this whole time does not mean we're not working for it. Exhale as you drive up. Remember, always the option to add weight on that working hip. <laughs> I, love, I, just, I don't feel like I need any weight right now. <laughs> oh, there's enough for me to lift up as is. I'm good. My glutes feel <laughs> adequately challenged right now with no weight. Just letting you know. Woo. Nice job, Studio Y. Bring those knees in again. We're going for abductions. If you haven't tried it with hips up yet, go ahead and give it a whirl. If you don't want to, you can keep those hips right down here on the ground. Otherwise, pushing through those heels, hips are up. 40 seconds on the bell. Driving those knees out. And remember, not rapid fire, stick it. I feel comfortable, chin to chest on this movement. I feel like it keeps me from hyperextending my back. You do what works for you. Sticking it at the top, squeezing those glutes to keep those hips up. If your cheeks are not burning right now, you're lying to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, just like we wanted, why? We came to work. Nice job. Bring those knees in. Grab that dumbbell for those jackknives. 
Round three, we've got two more moves. And we are through round three. Remember, chin stays to your chest here. Let me bring this up so I can know what's happening. We got three, two, one, 40 seconds. And again, now's the time. Knees can come in. Let those knees rest on each other. Let them commiserate over those last three moves. That's okay. Just nice to not have to take the band off, you know? <laughs> I try. I try. I'm always thinking you guys. That's all. Chin is to your chest. Exhale as you come up. Killing it. Ten seconds here. Why? Nice job. Almost there. There's that bell. We're up. Russian twist. Last move of round three. Again, heels are up or down. Your choice. Taking that dumbbell side to side. If you don't have a dumbbell, taking those hands side to side. Slow and controlled. Two, one, 40 seconds. Woo. Breathing here. You're upright, but you're still leaning back. Core is engaged, right? Pulling that belly button to your spine. Breathe it out here, Y. Woo! Halfway through this last move. Wrapping up round three right here. Nice job. So happy you chose to do these circuits with us today. You got five seconds right here. Make it three, two, one. Last round. I've been waiting about 15 minutes or so to be able to say those words. This is it. Come back down. Right heel, getting the work this time. Left heel up by those toes. Knees are out, tension on that band. Big squeeze on those glutes. There's our 40. Keep that pulse if you like it. Big squeeze. Small range of motion, but keep your mind on the muscle that you are working right now. Mind-muscle connection. Big squeeze, tilting that pelvis towards your ribs as you come up, forcing that squeeze. Nice job, Y. <laughs> That's okay. I wish I could see you right now, but maybe not. I don't know. Pop the knees. Stretch out those glutes. Same thing on the opposite side. Plant that left heel. Right heel by your left toes. Again, keep those knees out. I know they want to come in. Not yet. Not yet. Two. One. Forty seconds. Still adding that pulse at the top. Little tap on the bottom. Just a tap. Nice job. Squeeze at the top. Focus on keeping that weight right in the heel. Both heels are down, yes, but you're really focused on that left side here. So close, we got eight seconds here, Why? Nice job, keep with me. Nice. Knees in. Quick squeeze. Last time with our abductions. Again, if you like your hips down, keep them down. Otherwise, push through those heels. Keep them up. I like my chin to my chest here. Helps my form. Knees are staying out the whole time. There we go. Stick those reps. Squeezing my glutes to keep my hips high. They're gonna wanna slowly drop down, don't let them. Squeezing the glutes to keep them up, taking those knees out. This is a killer. Round four. If you have a job where you're seated a lot all day, you need these in your life. Don't let weak glutes give you a sore back or let knees take over, giving you sore knees, knee problems. Yes, we did it. Oh my goodness gracious. Hug those knees. 
If you want to take your band off, you can. It's the last round. Otherwise, stay put. Sometimes that's a workout in itself. Jack Knight. We have two moves left, Why? And we're stretching it out and pulling it down. Feet are on the floor. Jack Knight. Here we go. 40 seconds. Chin stays to your chest. Engage that core as you come up. Nice job. Awesome job, boys. Stay with me. Halfway there. Hope you got your music cranked. So close to the end here. Keep breathing. We got five seconds. Three, two, give me one more. Woo, nice job. Russian twist, 40 seconds left. And we're ready to cool down. Again, heels are up or down. Up to you. Weighted or not, it's your workout. We're back in five, four, three, two. Here we go. Dumbbell side to side. Core is scooped. Pulling that belly button towards your spine. Side to side. Working that entire abdominal wall. You have killed it this whole time. Through both circuits. We got 15 seconds here. Stay with us. Woo. Susie, we're almost there. Make it 10. Yes. I can see it. Make it five. Four, three, two, one. Yeah. Drop that dumbbell. Shimmy that band off of those legs. <laughs> I swear that's half the workout sometimes. YMCA. You killed it. Grab a drink if you need one. We're going to stretch it out. Why would your kids need green light? Of a <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Soles of your feet together. Bring those feet in. Oh, I'm feeling the sumos right here. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling the squat jacks right here. Oh. I love it. Thank you so much for clicking on this circuit today, for working out with Susie and I. It's been a pleasure. Take those legs out nice and wide. Sit up. Reach for those toes on the left. Hmm. <laughs> nice big stretch. And sweep those arms around. Grab those toes on the opposite side. Amazing job. Take those hands, walk them right up the middle. Nice big reach forward, deep stretch. Woo. And slowly walk those hands back, bring those legs together. We're gonna reach up and over. Knees, shins, toes, whatever you can reach. Depends on the time of day for me. Morning class, I'm lucky to get a toe. <laughs> Evening class, I feel like I can get halfway down my foot. <laughs> Depends on how early it is. Let them go. Come on up safely, slowly to standing. We're in a quad stretch. Grab those toes. Knee to the floor. Hips come forward. <laughs> Hold on to something if you need to. Woo. Nice big quad stretch. Take that heel forward and throw those hips back. Hamstring stretch. You all did amazing today at home. Come on up, switching sides. We got our toes, knee to the floor, hips are forward. And take that heel down to the floor. Hips go back. Nice deep hamstring stretch. And we're going to come on up. Take that arm across your chest. Light pressure on that elbow. Ooh. Breathing. Take that arm up and over. Tricep stretch. And release. Switching sides. Again, light pressure on that elbow. Stretch out those shoulders. We did a lot of shoulders today. A lot of shoulder work. Some of it's sneaky, but we got it in. Up and over. Tricep stretch. We're going to take one last deep inhale up Studio I. And exhale it out. Again, thank you so much for working out with Susie and I today. 
killed it on those circuits, remember to like this, remember to subscribe so you can get information about when we drop all the new videos for the Studio OI for our virtual classes, and we will see you next time.